Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a requested video, which is a rundown of the Britney Spears fragrances. I have previously done a video all about the Britney Spears fantasy range, which I'll leave a link down below, but this video is gonna cover all the other ones, including her new one in the prerogative line, prerogative rave. <laughs> if you're new here, then welcome. Welcome to my channel, it's all about perfumes here. So if you're a perfume fan like me, do subscribe, check Check out my hundreds of other perfume videos and let me know your requests for videos down below in the comments. So Britney is still smashing it with new perfumes still being released. She um, is one of a the best-selling celebrity perfumes I think at the moment and for the past you know few decades since she's been releasing them. Her sort of Rihanna, Beyonce, Ariana Grande, like these are successful celebrity perfumes. And as always guys, I will leave links below to where you can get these in the Americas, in Europe, around the world. I think I'm gonna start with prerogative. So original prerogative. So original prerogative. This is interestingly a coffee flavored uh, perfume. It also has apricot and goji berries that really come through. So imagine a sort of fresh Colombian coffee with those warm apricot notes. So it's quite a warm fragrance. I'd say this would work fine for daytime or nighttime. And it's not as sweet as a lot of her other perfumes are. She's known for having these really sweet perfumes. Midnight Fantasy, so sweet, her bestseller. I, I, I have that perfume. So, but this is a little bit more subtle, a little bit more grown up a little bit more classy coffee and apricot. Now Prerogative Rave, the new release, is nothing like Prerogative and that's something you'll notice from some of the Britney Spears um, perfumes. The flankers are not necessarily anything similar to the originals that they are flankers of. So Prerogative Rave is a lighter, more fresher spring perfume with freesia, raspberry, lilies, pears. So think a sort of airy floral with a bit of warm, sweet, you know, raspberry pear, fruity notes in. Um, so overall, it's a fruity floral, but a very fresh, um, almost aquatic, fruity floral. So let's move on to Private Show. Now these are sweet, they are very sexy. Private Show, I guess, is a little bit of a, you know, quite a sexy name. So these do match the name, definitely. This is like sugary, sweet, you know, whipped cream, sugar. It has coffee in it, so, but it's like a very sweet coffee, like those sweet coffees you can get, frappuccinos in Starbucks, which Brittany really likes actually. It then has some nectarine, clementine, so some warm, orangey, citrusy, fruity notes, but that sweetness really comes through. So if you're looking for something sweet, like this is probably more nighttime because it's just so, sexy and then vip private show is less sweet and more fruity mango raspberry blood orange apple lots and lots of fruits here i like this i find it fresh uplifting and um, reminds me of like summer it's quite tropical fruit so this is more daytime whereas original private show is more nighttime moving on to radiance this is red berries and white florals so quite a simple fragrance um not particularly exciting in any particular direction like you've got some tuberose jasmine some red berries so like a slightly fruity white floral but I find this a bit underwhelming cosmic radiance I prefer this has vanilla in it has lychee it has those floral notes in but they're not as um, dominant because the vanilla sort of takes over so it becomes a bit more interesting a little bit more complicated and not simple next we have a believe and this one has a lot of guava in so very uh, tropical cocktail fresh perfume lime blossom and orange so again very fresh but it does have a fair old amount of patchouli in as well which helps it last so I think sort of guava but with a patchouli that lasts and comes through and um, so quite interesting not that many like this guava is not used in that many perfumes so it makes it a little bit different moving on to curious as you kind of expect from the name and the branding this is quite an innocent perfume and it's not one of my fragrance because I find it a bit like 
meh. Like it's kind of just like nice and fresh. It has a fresh lotus note in, magnolia, pear, all these very light ingredients. Like if you went to all the fragrance ingredients and were like, which are the really light and innocent ones? That's like what Curious is to me. It's that innocent Britney rather than the more sexy private show Britney. The flanker though, Curious in Control, is totally different. This is sweet, it has tonka bean in and vanilla, warm, sweet, sexy, like no longer curious. This is just in control and you can see from the branding how different it is. So, and you know, hence why it's like black and much better perfume, better for lasting, so much prefer this one. So yeah, so that's my rundown guys. Let me know which ones you have, which you've had in the past, which you prefer, which is your favourite, and what you think of the new prerogative rave. But that's it guys, so thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!